Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back. In this video, I am going to talk about the difference between custom column and conditional columns in Power BI. This is also a very frequently asked interview question. First, we will see how to answer it properly and then we will see how to do it in Power BI. Let's get started. The difference between custom column and conditional column. Both these columns, both these custom column and conditional columns are created by us to achieve something in Power BI. We create custom columns when we have to do some calculations. Let's say you have to add some values that are there. You have to add some columns that are there in the data set you create a custom column. Then you have to subtract something. You want to multiply something. All these calculations. When you have to do something related to calculations, addition, subtractions, multiplications, divisions, all these calculations, you have to use a, you have to create a custom column. Whereas conditional column, as the name says, if you have to apply a condition to certain columns in your data set, then you use conditional column. Then you create a conditional column. Let's say you are comparing values in your data set. You are comparing two columns. If, if these two columns are equal, then the result is equal. If these two columns are not equal, then, this, then the result is not equal. If, if you have to use these conditions anywhere, then you consider creating a conditional column. If you want to give some examples about these conditional and custom columns, so for custom column, let's say in a data set, you have um, a date of birth of, of an employee and you want to calculate the uh, age of the employee. So to calculate the age, you do some calculation there. You, you subtract the number of years from uh, between today and the birthday and then you get the age of the employee, right? So that is a calculation. So you use a custom column here. Whereas the example for conditional column, in, you have a sales data set and you have orders from different countries. So you can create a conditional column uh, if you want to organize the orders based on the country. If the name of the country is India, then you can have another column which says that it is local shipping. If the country is not equals to India, then you can you can have the value in the calculated in the conditional column as international shipping. So these are some of the real world examples for custom and conditional columns. Now let's see how to do it in Power BI. So to show you how to create custom and conditional columns, I don't want to do everything. I want to show you how to create them in Power BI. I'll also include uh, the data set in the description of the video. You can download the report and try yourself and try to create the custom and conditional columns yourself, okay? I'll just show you where to create them. If you try it, then it will be easier for you to remember. So if you just watch the video, you're not practicing it. If you do it by yourself, it will help you. So I'll show you, I'll point you out where to do it and how to do it. So if you look at my screen here, I have a report with, which has financial uh, data and there are three data sets here. And um, I want to add, I want you to try adding custom and conditional columns to this sheet one data set, okay? So look at the sheet one data set. So if you go to the table view here, sheet one data set, and these are all the columns that are there in um, in this sheet one data set. To create the custom column or conditional column, you click on the three dots here uh, by the data set where you want to add the columns. You click on these three dots, go to edit query and power query opens up there. And here after the power query opens up, you see the add column tab, right? You cl click on the add column tab here. So if you want to add a custom column, go to add column here and click on the custom column. And this is how, this is where you create your custom column, okay? And if you want to create a conditional column, click on the conditional column here. And this way you can give your condition and create your conditional column. It's not that simple to create custom and conditional columns. I'm not doing it myself here because I want you to learn it. If you didn't know how to write the power query, try to Google it and get a solution for it. That way you'll learn it. If, if I just tell you how to do something, 
you'll only learn that but if you try it yourself you'll learn many other things so i want you to learn it so this is where you go to create your custom column and conditional column just try it out uh, try to create custom and conditional column uh, write write the query for yourself if you don't get it try asking google google has answer for everything so that's it for today keep learning